Hi. Thank you so much for your question. I make that face because I'm being 100% honest, like truthful, and I'm also being activated in my morphogenetic chakras, which are conical rather than cyclical, unlike your power chakras, which are your first three chakras, or first four chakras, actually. I'm being activated by the Ascended Masters. And also my Kundalini is cycling up and wrapping around. It's a snake that wraps that wraps around all your chakras. So that's why my face does that. I don't have Tourette's. I don't have a twitch. I'm just very, very devout and spiritual and divine. There's nothing wrong with having Tourette's. There's nothing wrong with having a twitch. What the f*** is wrong with you? Now listen, I think it's great that young lady we just heard from in the first clip was talking about spirituality and kundalinis and such, but I never in my life have seen someone walk around looking like they're constipated, saying they're trying to get all their chakras aligned. So either she was trolling us, or she's got something going on that we don't know about. But either way, I couldn't stop laughing when I first saw that clip, and that's kind of going to be the theme of today's video. It's just plain silliness out there in clown world, and we got a lot to cover, so with that being said, let's get into it. Now, if you place your attention on the screen for a moment, so here we have a post from Sissy. Now, Sissy is a biological man that identifies as a trans woman and calls himself a lesbian. Now, Sissy posted this photo. The caption says, Good morning, girls. Still hoping for the day I find a loving partner. Trans lesbian hrt which is hormone replacement therapy men keep off i'm not interested what get down that it. is weird just a big bulge in your pants <laughs> Let's keep this party rolling with some politics as usual. Now, people are still talking about the State of the Union address that happened the other night. And I am genuinely confused. Was there two State of the Union addresses on the other night? Did I miss one? Because people like this fella keep saying that Joe Biden knocked it out of the park during his State of the Union address. And the one I saw, there was an angry, doddering old fool on stage that couldn't get his words straight. Get your words straight, Jack. Roll it. Last night at the State of the Union, President Biden knocked it out of the park. He destroyed every single narrative that the Republicans had. Every single narrative that they tried to use against him, he absolutely destroyed last night. And in fact, when Republicans tried to challenge him, when they tried to heckle him, it seemed like he absorbed that energy and it only made him stronger. Marjorie Taylor Greene had a very bad night. She thought she was going to hand him that button and he would refuse it and she'd have a video to show all her followers. Instead, the opposite happened. He accepted it. He embraced it. Time and time again, he called out the Republicans. Every time they would boo when he talked about reducing the deficit, for example, by a trillion dollars and they start booing, he looked at them and said, oh, you don't like that? When he talked about the infrastructure bill, he called out how they voted against it, but they used it when they started voting. He said, oh, if you don't want the money, let me know. He absolutely destroyed the Republicans last night. It was, they were completely unmatched. It seemed like in a battle of wits, every Republican in that room lost to a guy they've claimed is in cognitive decline. And Mike Johnson, the whole time, sat back there and couldn't believe what was happening. Nobody had a worse night than him. Absolutely nobody. I think the president needs to continue this narrative, continue this energy, continue this, um, you know, talking about the things he's doing, the great American comeback, IVF protections, all the things he's doing for the average American, the $400 a month mortgage assistance, the um, cutting junk fees from credit cards, all of that type of stuff, that's where he needs to stay. But overall, it was an amazing night for President Biden. The Republicans have got to regroup and they've got to get themselves together because they just dug themselves a huge hole. What did you say? What the f did you just say?
overall, it was an amazing night for President Biden. Are you f***ing dumb? You see what I mean? I feel like that fella and I watched two completely different State of the Union addresses. It's almost like there's one movie screen with two different movies playing on it. Then, we have people out there like this lovely lady. Roll it. There's only one choice. There's only one choice. If you are a true American, if you love this country, you are only going to vote for Biden. No matter what your problems with him as far as age, no matter what you think about what he has or has not done, is only one choice. Trump is a dictator wannabe, and he's a horrible human being. He has no character whatsoever. So Nikki Haley's people that didn't want Trump, you know who they're going to vote for, right? Most of them will come over to Biden. Bye-bye, Trump. Have a great f***ing retirement. Oh, shut up, silly woman. All right, that's enough politics for a minute. These people drive me crazy. They're like, oh, don't believe your lying eyes and ears. Joe Biden is spry and robust and strong and ready to be president for four more years. I'm like, what the f*** are you even talking about? Anyway, let's get silly again. This is exactly what happens when you give everybody a camera to hold in their hand and then a platform to upload the videos they record of themselves. Roll it. I'm going to scat. I don't know if you know that or what that is. I don't know how to explain it. So, sorry. So I'm just gonna start. Butter, 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 butter. So I must be nervous because I'm on a camera. Ah, uh, I'll do that again one more time. Butter, butter, butter. your song it's awful i hate it now i'm sure some of you guys remember the human beatbox stuff from back in the 80s when we all used to break dance that sounded fantastic now that took some talent but this kid he was just going butter 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 to some song of the radio it was terrible and why did he sound like a three-year-old child when he talked? Anyway, next up, so, I don't know if this is parody or not, but this lady decides to cut off contact with her loved ones because they don't want to keep masking. But the catch is, they live across the country. Roll it. A few weeks ago, I found out that the person that I love most in this world is no longer masking. Their entire family, including four small children, have stopped masking. And yesterday I texted her and I said, hey, I, I can't get past the fact that you all are no longer masking. Like, with everything that's happening in the world right now, with COVID, with RSV, with measles, with everything that's coming back, not masking is wild behavior to me. Like, I, community care is important to me. I need to know that the people in my life care about their health and the health of the people around them to which I received a three and a half page dissertation justifying their behavior. Including classics such as, we're not breaking any rules. We're doing way better than everyone else around us. We don't go anywhere if we feel sick. My personal favorite was um, paraphrased, you couldn't possibly understand because you don't have kids. It's illogical to expect children to continue masking and stay in lockdown. So I responded and I said, you know, as I already stated, it's your choice to make. I'm sure you will do everything you can to keep your family safe. 
the best thing for me right now is to take a step away from this relationship. I love you all, but I have to take care of myself first and foremost. I hope you understand. And she says, sure, I can't force you to stay. And I'm telling you this because I know I'm not the only one out here who is dealing with, struggling with people in their lives that they care about very much, that are no longer taking mitigation efforts. I can't have people in my life that make me feel unsafe. And they live on the other coast, but that's not the point. The point is if I had the option to be around them right now, I couldn't because I wouldn't feel safe. What the hell did you just say? Not masking is wild behavior to me. Well, I'm going to take this damn mask off. Hey, real quick, before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to let this loop on the screen. Now, what I find most bizarre about this clip is this young lad who is dressed like a schoolgirl doing this little dance number isn't doing it in the privacy of his own home or his mother's basement. He's doing it in the town square. Anyway, today's video is being brought to us by Henry Guzman. Henry, thank you so much, sir, for your kind words, generosity, and support. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. So once again, today's video sponsor is Henry Guzman. Now, if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below, and I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video, unless stated otherwise by you. All right, we've seen enough of this kid. Get this off the screen, please. Ugh. It just seems kind of gay, doesn't it? All right, next up we have some more woke stand-up comedy by this fellow who calls himself a non-binary person. Now, generally, woke and comedy don't really go together, but let's see if this fellow can pull it off. Roll it. My home state of Texas. You might have heard of her. <laughs> They're trying to ban books. A conservative legislator made a list of 850 books he felt like were too inappropriate for Texas public schools. He included my book, Beyond the Gender Binary, on the list. So I had no choice but to read the entire list myself. And I was shocked to see that Marie Kondo's <laughs> Sparks Joy was not included. I'm just trying to get rid of gender norms. She wants us to get rid of everything. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up with this clip from investigative journalist Savannah Hernandez. Now, she does some fantastic work. And in this clip, she's interviewing these two college students, and she decides to put just a little bit of pressure on them. And what happens? They crumble under the pressure, of course. Anyway, things are clearly getting very crazy out there, guys. So please, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. I love you guys. Peace. Roll it. Tired of straight white men having the power and everything, you know? And it's like, we as women of color, as like, students at this university, like we are very much capable of certain things. And we don't have the same privileges that are offered to straight white men. <laughs> and I've been hearing that from a lot of the ladies that I've been talking to today. Talk to me about what some of those privileges are that, you know, straight white men have that you don't have. Talk to me about that. Um, I think any... I don't really know. Have you ever experienced like a specific instance? I don't know, but I also need to go. I know, I, I do need to go. I'm sorry. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the f*** did you just say? We don't have the same privileges that are offered to straight white men. Oh, don't give me that liberal bullshit. And you ain't black.